<laughs> oh, what's up, guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Play my music in the sun. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Give my love and all. You know how they say that, uh, you know, regularly checking and inspecting your vehicle, we're talking about Lola here right now, uh, yeah, regular checking and inspecting the regular maintenance portions of your vehicle is important, not only for, you know, functionality, but for safety as well. Dude, I am probably one of the most terrible people when it comes to that. I have no problem doing it on work vehicles because, you know, we got checklists. First person to drive it every day, you got to fill out that checklist. But when it comes to my own personal stuff, man, dude, I slack so hard on that stuff. <laughs> I mean, I, in the last video, was talking about how my front end felt a little weird and, you know, just something wasn't quite right if it was maybe the forks or it was my tire pressure. But, uh... <laughs> I made a point to get ready a little bit early today so I could go check my tire pressure. And my front tire, dude, it was it was about, oh, 10, 10 PSI low. And then I checked my rear tire, and my rear didn't feel weird. Like, that was the weird thing. Like, I guess on, on the second half of that video, when I did take the one corner and I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely what it is. My back end seemed to be a little bit squishy through the, the corner, but it felt like my suspension was just a little softer than normal. Yeah, uh, so my rear tire is supposed to be at 41 PSI. It was at like 16. got both tires back up to where they're supposed to be man and oh Lola feels so good right now but I wonder I was looking at my front rim while I was filling up and checking the air and I think that a couple of the uh, balancing weights fell off and that could be part of my issue like I feel like there's a little bit of this going on in the front end and that's I felt like that for a while but who knows if only I could do a burnout with my front tire and burn it up quicker so I could just get a fresh one put on. There is still something a little bit wonky with, you know, the way that the engine is sounding to me. And honestly, I think it's something about where my idle's set at or where my throttle cable tension's at. But, I mean, I'll burn that bridge when I come to it, you know? so it's loud in my helmet which that kind of sucks but I can live with it dude the air temperature is so low that it's like it's warm enough for a t-shirt but look at my arm dude can you see that freaking goosebumps because it's just chilly enough on the skin to make my little skin a little bumpy like it's almost it's almost cool enough that I should have a hoodie on but I know that it's going to be nice later. Actually, when I get off work at 7.30, it might be downright cold. <laughs> a, a hoodie might have been a good idea. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm just full of freaking stupid laughter today. I love it. <laughs> oh, at least I'm not doing like a Chris D'Elia laugh. Like, oh! Oh, short shift. That was almost detrimental. Hey there, Brian. Man, do I just feel burned out. What's up, dude? You know, I'm not going to bore you with the boring stuff of why I'm burnt out and all my... Uh, shitty days at work lately, so I'm going to try to remain positive, enjoy this beautiful weather that I'm riding in, J 
just for the sake of you. Because I, I don't want to be that guy, you know, just griping all the time. You fucking idiot. Ah! Fucking moron, dude. The turn lane and the inside lane are both closed, and you're going to freaking do a left turn from the outside lane? I find it incredibly fascinating how some people just don't get the rules of the road, like, well, yeah, you can normally turn left there, but when the turn lane is shut down, you can't just turn from any other lane of traffic, especially when the roadway is blocked down to only a single lane, dude. You're going to hold up traffic, you're going to hold up movement, you're going to make things dangerous and unsafe for the rest of us just because you can't pull your head out of the ass enough to go up to the next opportunity to turn or turn around. Oh, can you tell it grinds my gears? though I'm not the only one enjoying this beautiful weather tonight tons of bikes out actually not tons I've only seen three <laughs> but it is a beautiful night man I'm definitely ready for fall man we had some really incredibly hot days over the summer and I'm just ready to be able to be comfortable in jeans and you know it could be warm enough where a t-shirt would be comfortable but it could be like just warm enough to be able to wear a t-shirt but just cool enough to be able to wear a hoodie if you wanted to or a sweater you know when I lived in Minnesota we'd have days like this in the fall and we call it sweater weather cannot wait for sweater weather yeah I'm stupid you don't gotta tell me I'm a big old freaking nerd man I'm nerdy and I'm proud of it da 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 I just can't wait to be home and crack a cold one, enjoy it while I edit this footage. And it's gonna be about that time. Actually, it is that time. I don't know what I'm saying about that time. It is that time. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I love you. I love getting to read your comments when you do comment. I love seeing those thumbs up happen. Man. The support is unreal. I can't believe that I've got as many followers as I do. And the, you know, the, the response to my videos that I get, man. Like, I make these because I like them. And mainly just to make myself wear my camera every day so that if something happens, I have evidence of it. But, uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's freaking awesome. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker